Ciao mundo, hello world, hola mundo, hello mond, ni hao, konnichiwa. We are here at the International Renal Research Institute today and I would like to share with you a paper that will come out in blood purification, open access in the next days. It will be published online first. We actually discuss the possibility of using uh, hemoperfusion and CRRT combined in patients with coronavirus infection developing severe syndromes including pneumonia and uh, a situation close to what we see in septic patients with a high level of circulating cytokines. As you will see in the figure that will be published in the editorial, there are three ways uh, uh, that may actually lead to cytokine activation when the patient develops a pneumonia from a coronavirus infection. The first is pneumonia itself. Actually, there might be a condition that may lead to a very high cytokine in the body due to the viral infection. In some cases, this may even be induced by a superimposed bacterial infection. But the second uh, uh, possibility is because uh, mechanical ventilation in this patient uh, may, have the pro may have the problem of uh, uh, high lung resistance. Uh, there might be a ventilation-induced uh, lung injury. And in this case, uh, tissues may actually uh, uh, disseminate a high level of cytokines in the circulation. There is a third mechanism which may be induced by the use of extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. ECMO can be a source of a cytokine storm. In this condition, uh, you will find a situation in which uh, high level of cytokines uh, cannot be predicted in terms of which cytokine is increasing and which cytokine is decreasing, leading to a condition of immunological derangement of the patient. Uh, there might be a very important pro-inflammatory state in the very early phases, although the uh, use of uh, uh, corticosteroids uh, has not been uh, sufficiently supported by evidence. But there might be a consequent uh, uh, counter uh, uh, anti-inflammatory uh, uh, syndrome induced by the presence of interleukin-10 specifically where the patient uh, starts to become uh, immunodepressed. And in fact, uh, there might be a continuous superimposing of hyperinflammation and immunodepression. In this condition, there might be uh, a, a situation of endothelial damage, secondary shock, and possibly organ dysfunction. Organ dysfunction has been uh, observed in terms of myocardial dysfunction, contractility of myocardium is often depressed. There might be a liver uh, uh, dysfunction, uh, something that may resemble an acute alcoholic uh, 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 hepatitis. And finally, there might be uh, acute kidney injury or dysfunction. At this point, the use of extracorporeal therapy Combining CRRT and hemoperfusion may actually reduce the peaks of the concentrations of cytokines circulating in the body with the two potential mechanisms. One, non-specific removal of the highest level of uh, 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 cytokines that in that moment can be pro-inflammatory or anti-inflammatory. The second, is uh, more concerning the so-called cytokinetic uh, uh, mechanism which by removing the circulating cytokines uh, somehow redirect uh, the action of the immune system in the site where the infection is present. By doing this you can uh, protect the endothelium and finally you can not only protect uh, 
the organs, but you can also support the organs in case uh, uh, this is needed. In presence of no pharmacological approach, no antiviral therapy, no vaccine, very little action of corticosteroids, possible little action of chloroquine, extracorporeal therapies may actually represent one of the potential options for these patients. Very likely, they might not change uh, long-term mortality. We will not be able to demonstrate the evidence for this, but it makes a lot of sense. And as Professor Ben Sanders mentioned yesterday in an international conference call with our Chinese friends, it is a rational for a therapy that uh, we can actually provide to our patients. So my uh, task today was to anticipate uh, this editorial published in Blood Purification Open Access that you will have the chance uh, to consult uh, in one or two days. Please visit Blood Purification from Carger and get the information about use of extracorporeal therapies in patients with coronavirus infection. With this, thank you very much for joining today, Cappuccino and uh, greetings from Vicenza, Italy. Ah, excellent.